So one of the most massive problems that I see people have when they DM me asking me how to make money or what do I think about this specific situation? And then they go into detail saying like, hey, I asked my mom about this or I asked my uncle, I asked my best friend, I asked my girlfriend what they think. And you guys are asking the wrong people the wrong questions. Now I had this thought when I was in college because I thought college was gonna be this gateway into amazing businesses and careers and the money would just be tossed my feet because I have this degree and bachelors of whatever. Like it was a marketing scheme that I fell into because everybody was doing it and it was so widely adopted. But when I started going to these business classes, I would, you know, listen to my professor talking about businesses and finances and PL reports. And I'm thinking to myself, like, why are you teaching me instead of doing this stuff. And then I realized that they're all just regurgitating information from a book. So basically I would have the exact same level of knowledge as them. If I just read that book five times, like back to back, I would be just as smart as them. So then I would come up with my own business ideas and how to make money. And then I would talk to my friends about it and they'd be like, oh no, you should do this. And you know, then you got to do this. And oh, you should definitely look into doing these things. And at first you get all hyped up about it and you're like, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Let's, let's do this together. It's a horrible idea. You're listening to the wrong people and here's why. Unfortunately, the sad fact is that a majority, if not a vast majority of the people around you and in your family are poor and they are not the people that you should be taking advice from on how to make money. If your uncle Steve is telling you how best to start up your business, but uncle Steve lives in a double wide and has $170,000 in debt over his lifetime, he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. If your parents have full-time jobs and they provide for the family, but they don't have ridiculous wealth with like a multi-million dollar home and multiple vacation rentals across the world, they are not the people that you should take financial advice from. Yes, you can take standard financial advice like how to pay your T-Mobile bill or how to get your electric bill paid on time. That's fine. If your parents have a nice savings and they're ready for when they're 65 and they retire and they've got, you know, a million plus dollars in a Roth IRA, definitely take advice from them. But if you're talking to somebody that probably has $1,500 in their bank account with zero savings, you should not even consider listening to any air coming out of their mouths. People like to talk because they think they are educated on a thing, but they're not the people that you should be talking to. The people that you should be talking to is the people that have already done it. People that look like you, people that act like you, people that are your age, if not older, you should be doing what they did to get wealthy because they have done it. Now, a majority of these people who have done it are not easily accessible. You cannot just call them and say, hey, my name is Greg. I want to know what you did because you're a successful dude and I want to be a successful dude. The cool thing is that the internet exists and either these people have written a book or have YouTube videos or somebody's written an article on them and broken down their life story in the series of events that took place in order for them to get from where they were to where they are now successful. What you can do is look at that entire series of events and mimic it as closely as humanly possible because you know that that roadmap already exists from that person getting from point A to point B successful. You should mimic for as long as it takes for you to start earning money and making a living off of doing that thing. Only when the money and income is consistent time and time again, that's the only time where you should make any modifications. Put your own customization on it and make it your thing. There's no sense in reinventing the wheel if somebody's already made the wheel. Once you've replicated the wheel and it spins and it moves, then you can start making a carbon fiber wheel or a hollowed out aluminum wheel or something out of titanium. Mimic, then modify. I hope this helps the five people that are probably watching this that are taking advice from the wrong person.